Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Welcome to Adventures in History. Today's topic is Ruth, John, Mark, Pamela, Patricia, and Peter Ray. Home movie, 1970. And now the movie, folks. So, P- Patricia's on her way to school here, as you can see. And, uh, nice, nice dress, Patricia. Oh, she's coming home, carrying her shoes. Hi, Peter. Okay, backyard 20689 Beechcliff Boulevard. Right, okay. Uh-huh. Oh, here's Mark's coming home from school. Now we're headed to uh this is actually uh, December this is actually December of 1969 and we're traveling to um traveling to Jamaica. Ruth and John, mom and dad decided to take a break from going to the Bahamas and you know, try something new so that's so this is uh, this is what we're doing. We're flying to Jamaica. It was the latter part of 1969 and uh, into early 1970. I think this was the first time we we um, spent our Christmas um, away from the Cleveland area, either Bay Village or Rocky River, for my parents, East Cleveland. So that's, we're on our way to, not sure about the... Uh, Stopovers, but oh, nice, nice clouds. Here, this is from. Oh, I wonder what. Yeah, this must be the Caribbean. This body of water, and it looks like we're headed to the island, a former British colony in the Caribbean, west of Cuba, and uh, boy, or was it south of Cuba? Here we are, getting away from the uh, cold in Cleveland. Hi, Mom. Ruth S. Ray. There's Mark, coat and tie. Patricia, nice uh, sunglasses. Pan American Airlines. Montego Bay, Jam- Jamaica. Yep. Oh, again, Mom loved the flowers. Beautiful tropical flowers here in Jamaica. Uh, Dad rented, Dad John S. Ray, he rented a house that we stayed in, and, uh, oh, is that poinsettia? Wild, looks like they're growing in the, in the soil. Now, what is that? Oh, too bad mom's not here. She, she was, could identify flowers. She was my flower identifier. Yeah, looks fam- very familiar. Now, here's the four kids. We're going in the water, the Caribbean. <laughs> Mark, Pamela, Patricia, and Peter. Looks like there's a little uh, flotation device out there. Okay. We got a race. Now, uh, where is this? This must be at a restaurant. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice columns. Look at those columns. The columns are nice from ancient Greece and Rome. Oh, look at the, the water right on the ocean. Montego Bay, Jamaica. December 1969. Yeah, so we spent our Christmas there. Hi, Pamela, Mark, Ruth, Mom, Patricia, and Peter. Okay. We spent our Christmas there. We brought down candy canes, and um, they melted. Mom, we, we got, a, I think, a casuarina tree for a Christmas tree, and um, Mom put them on the tree, and they there were these little puddles of, uh, ooh, Dad with his cigar... Little puddles of red and white puddles uh, from the from the um, candy canes. And during this trip, I got I got very sick. Peter, yours truly, Peter J. Ray. I got sick, and I was in a small hospital. I almost had my appendix taken out. Ooh, the fort. Wonder what this is. This was a British. Actually, it was a Spanish colony for a while, but mostly British until independence came. I think it may have been 
still in, uh, independent, or I, I mean, a col- British colony this time, not sure about independence. And, of course, it's English-speaking. Mom liked going to these former British colonies. And also the fact that they speak English is obviously appealing. Oh, look at those nice palm trees. I think that's the house we rented. Could be. Yeah, there was a swimming pool that was salt water. It was connected to the ocean. I think through a pipe. And uh, that's it. Mm-hmm. Jamaica is a very large island. In the Caribbean, you have Cuba, Hispaniola with Haiti and Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Bahamas, which is north of Cuba. This is over toward uh, the southwestern part of the Caribbean Sea. Okay. Same idea, getting away from the cold and snow to the uh, during winter. And I guess they tried. Uh, my uh, Ruth and John, my parents, decided to have a trip at Christmas. Maybe there was a longer vacation, so yeah, we all stayed the you know the whole time together, and um, and they wanted to try something else. But then they they decided they liked the Bahamas the best and. Cistern Key. There's that swimming pool that was part of the property. Now, these people, I think, were they, uh, must have been either the neighbors or that was, maybe they were working there. Not sure. The cook and the guy working, maybe the yard man. Okay, what are we doing here? <laughs> Not sure. Oh, get up, getting a panorama of the area. Hi, Mom. Ruth Small shall ray. Oh, she's got a nice uh, straw purse. Oh, some Jamaican ladies. Local Jamaican children. Yeah, later in college, I really got into the music, reggae music, which comes from Jamaica, especially Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, Jimmy Cliff. I wonder if we're going to church here. Could be. I know at one, I, th- I think this is where we, it might have been this trip where we went to church and they asked Dad to give the sermon. Oh, we're going, what is this, some type of a garden, maybe a horticultural garden. Look at those banana tree leaves. Yeah. A lot of bananas in the Philippines. Pamela, exploring, I wonder if this is the neighborhood, young man, good afternoon, <laughs> okay, people of Jamaica, young fella, mm-hmm. John S. Ray, our father. I think that's the Christmas tree, yeah. <laughs> that we made, decorated. Oh, this looks like a market. Straw items. That's what it looks like. Casuarina tree. Oh, yeah, now I think this is, yeah, mom's asking to cut down a branch that's for our, I guess for our Christmas tree. Maybe that other one was somebody else's. Machete. Okay. Down she goes. That's it, our Christmas tree. Yeah, he must have been the guy working there and his wife. Helping to take care of us. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think those are poinsettia plants. Oh, the interior. OK. 
Okay. Light's not very good here. Okay, must be, oh, this is outside. Oh, it looks like some, uh, is that a pony? Maybe. Or a donkey. Yeah, donkey or a mule. Okay. Mm-hmm. Nice sunny day. Palm trees, the ocean, sunshine. Uh, yeah, look at that. Big boat, big ship, some type of, I wonder if it's an iron, a bauxite, maybe yeah, they had bauxite mining in Jamaica. Maybe that was a bauxite freighter. Yeah. Oh, nice shelter, palm frond, open air, get out of the sun, have air, but uh, out of the sun, fresh air. Okay, very good. <laughs> is this our, our is this our lunch al fresco, maybe? Hello. Um, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Spice estate. Okay, guess we're a uh, plantation. Wonder what spices they were growing here. Yeah, Dad rented a car. I believe and yeah he I remember he uh, he drove around the island park beware of falling coconuts <laughs> okay spice estate yeah we're just touring the island Oh, the Arawak Indians, uh, 600. Yeah, this island, uh, all the Caribbean islands had uh, American Indians, Arawaks, and they, they pretty much died out after European contact when Christopher Columbus arrived in 1492. And then the, um, the European uh, countries brought in African slaves, who, and most of the people are descendants yeah. of them. I think they still have, there was some intermarriage, so I think there's still, some of the people in the Caribbean have uh, Indian ancestry from the original people of uh, the Caribbean. In this case, Jamaica. Oh, look at these tall trees. Nice banana trees. I think this is the spice plantation. Ooh, pretty red flowers. Look at that. Yeah, I remember this fella going up, uh, climbing the coconut tree to get coconuts. Look at that. Because he knew how to do it. He was strong enough, had the skills, his feet could do it. He's going up there to get some uh, coconuts for us. Down he comes. Wow, look at that. Pretty good. Nothing like, co yeah, now he gets some fresh coconut milk or coconut water. Oh, I wonder what that is. Some type of plant. Uh, yeah, now this is Sunday. We're in church, going to church in Jamaica. 
Right, this in Montego Bay. Hi, Dad. John S. Ray, local congregation. Mark with his coat, his tie. Patricia, Pamela, nice pink dress. Oh, nice church. Yeah. Yeah, Mom and Dad, we would, if we were tra traveling and it was a Sunday, they'd try to find a church to go to, take us children to church. In Montego Bay, Jamaica, 1969, early 1970. I think this is still... A, yeah, I didn't put this in the previous video because that was long enough, and I thought, anyway, this extends into 1970. And for, oh, I think this is a cemetery by the church. It's local children, Jamaican children. I thought, yeah, 1969. It is going into 1970, so. Oh, wow, nice stained glass windows. I imagine it's an Anglican church because uh, the Episcopal, Mom Ruth grew up Anglican in Canada. In the U.S., it's Episcopal church, so that's where she went. Oh, I think this is Junkanoo. It's this festival, like a Christmas festival, these fellas. <laughs> oh, windy day, casuarina trees. Oh, now we're out snorkeling. Yep. Christmas vacation, late 19, 1969. Oh, surface dives. You have to kind of... Uh, Make a motion so you can get go down when you want to see the. There's mom with her nice bathing cap. Yeah. Wonder if that protected her hairdo. Oh, what are we doing now? We've got all. <laughs> oh, Mark doing a corkscrew, I think they call it. Pamela diving in. Patricia. Jumping in, enjoying the swimming pool. Oh, Mark doing the, uh, what do you call that? As a name, that uh, very difficult swimming stroke. Windy day, Montego Bay, Jamaica. 1969, 1970. Oh, here comes Dad, John S. Ray doing a cannonball. <laughs> This bald spot. Yep. Hi, Dad. Mom floating with her bathing cap. Pamela's in the water. Oh, she's going to stand on jo her dad's shoulders. That's it. <laughs> Mom would get worried it was too hard on Dad, too hard on his heart. I don't know why I'm wearing a, uh, uh, oh, now I'm on Pamela's shoulders Why I'm wearing a snorkel mask, I, I guess because of the uh, salt water. Now we're going to brave the, uh, the ocean, go snorkeling, nice sunny day. Oh, I have to take, uh, go down this uh, ladder into the water. Hi, Patricia. Getting your face mask on, all set. Breathing tube. Yep. Flippers on. Mm hmm. Off she goes. Here comes Peter, yours truly. Okay. Guess Mark's already in the water. Oh no, here comes Mark. Whoa, diving with his mask on. There they go, snorkeling, 
flippers and breathing tubes. Okay, who is going down here? Is this Peter? I think so. Who's this? I think this is Peter again. Yeah. This is, uh, is that Patricia or Pamela? I think it's Patricia. Yeah, we tried to go down, see if we go down low. Is that Mark? Go low, try to go low and see how far we could go. Is that Pamela? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Who is this? Underwater movies, Jamaica, the Caribbean. I don't think we went to Kingston, but anyway, Montego Bay is a pretty well-known resort. Probably still is. Oh, and I'm going to do a somersault. Who is that? I think that's Patricia. That's Pamela. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's good. Here comes Mark. Oh, that, I remember this. Yeah, he acts like he's in a gunfight. <laughs> and he... So he's firing his gun and getting shot. Here comes Mom. Oh, she's doing real well. She used to have trouble getting lower. Now she's able to go low and uh, stay down for a while before coming up for air. Ooh, look at that fish. It's like a rockfish or something. This is Pamela. Okay, another <laughs> somersault. Here comes Dad, John S. Ray, yeah. They called him the Great Walrus of Hopetown when we went there. Our fearless leader, our father, John S. Ray. I used to call him Big Daddy or Grand Padre. Very good, very good man, very kind, calm. Very good provider, very patient, humble, good listener. Oh, no, more of these... Uh, Tumbling, underwater tumbling. And the fish, underwater, the coral reef. I think the, my parents said that the reefs were better in the Bahamas, but that's the, Bah that's the famous expression, it's better in the Bahamas. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Brain coral. Yeah, real nice. Okay, back on dry land, or above the above the surface of the water. Oh, this what is this? Looks like a some type of an area. Little wind, the palm trees. We explored this part. Of, I don't know how far we got around Jamaica, but you know, it's a fairly big island. This looks like sugar cane. Yeah, I know they grow sugar cane here. That was actually the uh, the big business. That's why they brought in the African slaves in the 1500s, 1600s, 1700s, because uh, sugar was the big business. Hi, Patricia. Hi, Peter. I wonder what, where this is the, the town. I guess it, it's it, it, there is a local town. Mon I guess this is the town of Montego Bay. Notice. Not sure what that said. So I imagine we're exploring the town of Montego Bay. Oh, now what are we doing now? It looks like we're going on a boat trip, I think. Yep, hello. How are you? Yeah, man. We take you on a boat ride, man. <laughs> the Jamaican accent. Kind of like the Bahamas, I'd say. You know, they were 
both British colonies, both had African descent people. Of course, Bahamas is an archipelago of many small islands. Jamaica is a pretty big island, one of the major islands of the world. They had Michael Manley was the f prime minister years ago, and there was, uh, I have no idea now about the politics of Jamaica. wonder what we're doing, going fishing. Windy day. Oh, look at these uh, seabirds. Those seagulls? No, I'm not sure. Oh, look at the nice sunlight on the water. Clouds. Oh, I guess, I guess, oh, I guess they brought us somewhere for a snorkeling. You know. Hi, Mark. Getting used to the water. <laughs> Patricia. Getting our snorkel gear on. Hi, Mom. Ruth Smallshaw Ray. Actually, Florence Ruth Smallshaw Ray. She didn't use Florence Ruth's my, yeah. She became Ruth Ray. It was, she was really Florence Smallshaw, but she, they called her Ruth growing up. They, she used her middle name. Looks like Pamela snorkeling. Mom getting her snorkel. Her uh, mask on, breathing tube. Yeah, I guess the purpose of that um, bathing hat, so the if your hair, if you had your hair done, they would it would be preserved, or maybe to prevent an earache. I wonder if it went over her ears, keep water out of your ears. Yeah, more underwater. Sea life and another coral reef. Yeah, so this fellow took us in a boat, maybe to a nice reef. I think that was the idea. Probably nicer away from the uh, the, the, the island. More unspoiled and natural. If you had a really clear day with no wind, I guess... It would be, the color, the lighting would be better here. You can see the surface is, water is uh, changing, and that leads to uh, these light patterns, which are part of the visual experience underwater. Mm-hmm. don't see any fish here. Snorkeling in Jamaica, 1969-1970. Christmas vacation. Brain coral. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's some fish. That's good. Some sea fans. Oh, look at those unusual growths. Yeah, no fish. Very few fish. Oh, there's some fish in the back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good job, Dad. John S. Ray, underwater cameraman, video man, movie man. Oh, there's it looks like a sergeant major with its yellow and black stripes. Yellow, black, and white. Oh, look at those, uh, look like, um, yeah, what are those, star, not starfish, 
got to be careful you don't step on those things. They'll like, uh, have those stickers will stick in your bottom of your foot. Yeah, look at that. It's like another world. Under the ocean. Caribbean Sea. Oh, it looks like a uh, trap for fish or cr crabs or something. Okay, there's some nice nice school of fish. Nice stripes. White and black stripes. Sea fans moving in the current. Oh, look at that growth. Yeah. Instead of, instead of wind, it's like water current. It's like, kind of like underwater. Oh, look at that. Underwater wind. <laughs> Sea fans, brain coral. The light reflecting off the surface of the water. Okay, very good. Otherworldly. Mm, look at this. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, look at that. It's like a sea anemone. Look at those tentacles and all those like porcupines. Okay, back at the house, the backyard pool. Patricia, Peter, wearing our snorkel equipment, I guess because of the salt water in the pool. Enjoying the water. Oh, look at the beach in the backyard, in the background. The surf rolling in. Nice. A little bit of wind, the casuarina trees blowing in the wind. Yeah. Palm trees. Gentle breeze. Ooh, look at the blue water. Purple. And the uh, light blue in the swimming pool. Look at the way. Here come the waves coming in. Beautiful sunny day in Jamaica. Imagine this is moving into 1970, which is the title of this, in the title of this video. Oh, nice peninsula. Look at that. In the area of Montego Bay, Jamaica. Okay, what's this? I wonder who these people are. They're local people or tourists. Interesting house. Nice door. Okay. okay. We're having a meal. 
I think this is at the house, or well, I'm not sure where it is. Yeah, I guess that gal was cooking for us. That's pretty good. Didn't have to didn't have to cook. And I imagine, oh okay, oh this mom always loved children, little children. <laughs> I guess we're going, this is a, yeah, we're in town, going to the market, seeing what they have to sell. Fruit, walking around, taking in the, the scenery, the people. Nice vehicle. Walking up the street. Ruins, Ocho Rios, oh, entertainment, Roland Alfonso, Ocho Rios, yeah, these uh, waterfalls, we were walking up them, at least not, or at least parts of them where you can walk, where it was gradual, not here, you couldn't walk up that, but, Ocho Rios, five, I think it means five rivers in Spanish, that comes from the Spanish era, when it was a Spanish colony, yeah, hmm, what's going on here? Throwing water, uh, stones in the river, maybe. Oh, Mark has something to eat there. I wonder what it is. Oh, look at that. Nice waterfalls. Duns, rivers, river falls, beach. Oh, battle scene. British fighting the Spanish. Yeah, it looks like this area we walked, you could walk up the, uh, the um, waterfalls, and we did. <laughs> Not easily. I guess that's what people did. I remember that. Patricia, making her way. Hi, Peter. Mark, Ruth, Pamela, John filming. Mark continuing. There comes Pamela. Very adventurous. And I don't know what you're gonna. They're gonna do here. <laughs> they're gonna continue. Oh, look at that. Still continuing up. That's a little nice uh, silhouette. <laughs> That's interesting. That's good photography right there. The silhouettes climbing and the water coming down. Good job, Dad. Very good. He's lugging along this movie camera. Oh, Mark's continuing. Looks dangerous. Whoa, look at that. Be careful. He made it to the top. Comes Pamela. Peter, Patricia, and Ruth. His dad was following along, carrying the movie camera. Look at that, walking up this waterfall. Oh, Pamela lending her mother a hand. Hi, Pamela. Pam, hi, Dad. Oh, John S. Ray. Comes Pam. Onward, quite a quite an adventure. Dad. 
Dad was 45. Okay, getting some sun. Looks like back at the house. Patricia and Peter. There's the uh, swimming pool. Oh, I was joking around here. Raising my stomach up and down. Ooh, what was that? Patricia kissing Peter. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> John S. Ray getting some sun. He tanned well. Hi, Dad. Thanks for the nice trip. Hi, Mom. Nice scarf. Nice yellow dress. Oh, Mark's looking cool with his sunglasses on. We're all in lounge chairs. Lounge lizards. Oh, hi, Pamela. She's got her glasses on. Hi, Mom. Thanks for a nice trip. Oh, Dad with his cigar. Wonder what it was, a white owl? <laughs> yeah, you had to make good money to pay for a trip like this. As a lawyer, as an attorney for Meyer, Stevens, and Ray. Oh, Mom, getting some sun. Now, what are we doing here? Taking a walk. This is near the end of the trip. I remember near the end of the trip. This might be the uh, Ro might be Rose Hall. We heard the story of this uh, a white woman or like English descent woman. And they called her the White Witch of Rose Hall. And so we decided, I think that's her house. And it's a tourist attraction. She lived many years ago, centuries ago. So we went to this, uh, I think it was at the very end of the trip. The Royal Botanical Garden. Hmm, open every day. That's a nice family picture. Nice color, nice. We were all dressed well. Mom did a good job of... Uh, Clothing us. Now on our way home, early January of 1970, back to uh, Rocky River, Ohio, USA, on Pan American Airlines. Here we go. Jamaica, Palisades International Airport. That's it, 20689 Beechcliff Boulevard, Rocky River, Ohio. You can see the snow we, we left behind was still there. That house is still pretty much intact. They, uh, they're doing work on the yard. I think maybe the plumbing or the foundation, but it, it looks just like that. I always I love looking at the house, driving by. Alice and I take a look driving by, and sometimes even pull up into the driveway to get a look at the backyard. Nice picture of that tree. Yeah, I used to think about if I had the money to buying the house, but I think, well, it's, it's got four, three floors and a basement. And uh, Now, this is in August. The, the Zook family reunion at Lakeside, Ohio. Bill Smith, Ruth Ray, Helen Lacey, Peter, Barb Smith, it's Dave Wiesenauer, Patricia with her friend Jane Faulkner, uh, Jinx Faulkner, Mary Faulkner, Pamela, Gertrude and Doran, Lisa's back there, Mark, friend Chip Richmond, Dave Wiesenauer, Kathy, at the Breeze Inn, which is like the house next to the house we stayed in for many years, although not right, not anymore. Um, yeah, nice picture. Family reunion, Labor Day weekend, or actually uh, around that time. Looks like the first day of school, 1970-71. Peter dressed well. Look at that. Nice colors in your outfit, Peter. In the fall, uh, getting ready to go to school. Hi, Peter. See, Mom was dressing us well. This was uh, 70, I was in fifth grade. 70, 71, yeah, at Kensington Elementary School. So it's coming home from school. Patricia, now look at that nice dress she's wearing. Look at the or nice orange color. Her blonde hair, nice white high socks. Very, very pretty girl going to school. Uh, let's see. I think she was in junior. Yeah, she was in grade seven, junior high. Yeah. Hi, Patricia. Okay. 
Now this is uh, into the snow time. Cold. Looks like we're gonna have a snowball fight. Now this, you can tell Mark had he was a senior in high school, and uh, he decided to stop trying to straighten his hair. And let his and then he had this afro hairdo, long hair, and uh, curly. There's Peter with a. It's not. It's not a hat. What do you call that? Mark's really getting it here. Pam's. <laughs> looks like Mark, Pam, and Peter. Pamela's really get, letting Mark have it. <laughs> In the backyard at Beechcliff Boulevard. We don't seem to be very good at forming snowballs. We're just like throwing snow at each other. Guess it wasn't packing very well. Boy, that little playhouse there. Okay, you guys had enough. Boy, Mark's really covered in snow. <laughs> Look at his jacket. Okay, very good. Well, that concludes today's presentation. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Take care, and I'll see you next time.